Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to be indexing a NumPy array with a Boolean array. So all right, let's just get into it. So for those of you who are just joining us, thank you for being here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, because this is what we do. We just build video upon video. So all right. <clears throat> If you've seen before, this is going to be very, very similar to pandas, but I just like Python, I like to be explicit and show you some things. So, all right, we are just going to create an array that right, numpy range, and we're going to go 1 to 100. It's okay print out x let's just go ahead and do that so, okay here we are with an array now let's look and create an array greater than 50 so all right here's our we can do this so here's our here's our boolean array if if it passes uh, it's true if it fails it's false so of course anything from 1 to 50 fails and then here are trues so you can do this one of two ways I could have assigned just like just like we've seen in pandas because pandas is built on top of numpy so that's why it's very similar but there is one big difference so there's our slicing. Or we can do it the longhand form. X greater than 50. Now none of these have been assigned. We haven't changed them in place, but if we were going to do that, there's shorthand or longhand, just like that. Now <clears throat> there is one big thing. So let's reshape this. Let's go 10, 10 by 10. Okay, so now, and we just call shape our 10 by 10 array. Now, the one big difference, if you are familiar with pandas, you're used to it returning the a modified uh, data frame with the same columns everything same structure just a reduced <clears throat> just a reduced data frame now with numpy oops here we go so this is actually a very good point has to be the same length and shape. So why? What was why? Because th th this is what I'm hinting towards. Why shape? That fails because they are not the same shape. So this is important. But we can still do it like this. Let's reassign this to so x. Okay. So x equals. We're gonna do it long form. Close this out. Now look, len of x, but now let's look at the shape of x. It's, it goes one dimensional. So that is the only thing that you really need to be aware of that is different that you may not be aware of when you, it, it returns a one dimensional array. So all right. Real quick video today, um, we're going to just keep going with NumPy and get very sophisticated very quickly. Just uh, before we got there, this is, and I wasn't planning on this, but this is a happy coincidence. And I've found you learn a lot more when something fails than when something goes right. Because you may, you could get a false positive, but man, <laughs> man, when you mess up, there's no way around it. So 
don't be afraid to venture out, stick your neck out, try something, uh, mess around with something you're not sure of because, man, you mess, <clears throat> you mess up something, you're definitely going to learn something. So there we go. Little uh, programming trick that worked for me. So don't be afraid to uh, make a mistake. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests below, and I'll get right to them. And uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.